Namaste, everybody. I hope you are doing well today. I want to talk about the next level or layer of your operating system. That's the core of who you are. Your operating system is like your values, who you are, who you've become on this journey and this path. And then we begin to talk about apps that we install. I don't even have my phone, but you install on your phone or your computer. Apps are what enhances your life or maybe could create some toxic energy. Think about congruent or incongruent. If everything's just really smooth and things are going well in your life, it's congruent. But if there is an opportunity for some chaos or toxic energy, that would be incongruent. Just like when you meet somebody and everything seems to go really smooth, it goes really well. You're doing projects around the house or projects for work or tasks and everybody seems to be on board and things are just going very, very well. That's congruent. But sometimes we get this mix or this person in there. It's incongruent. Same thing with your apps. Sometimes they get malware, right? And then they have viruses. So your apps would think about almost in the sense of those things in your life that you're doing and maybe even not doing. So your financial aspect of a budget. Maybe you have a budget app or a banking app on your phone and you're checking it and monitoring, monitoring it. You get to the why, is this making your life better? Just like if you have social media. So if you have Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn or TikTok or whatever it may be, when you're on that app, how does it make you feel during that interaction and that conversation? And how does it make you feel once you close out the app? A lot of times we have too many apps open at once. And that affects the RAM, right? It affects the performance of who we are. We're trying to do too many things at once. So maybe close down some of those. Occasionally in our life, we need to go through what I call a detox or reformatting our hard drive. We need to clear off everything and start our operating system from scratch and then reload the apps that are truly, truly relevant. Years ago, my family was in California and I was, we were living at the plaza in Kansas City and my phone, for whatever reason, wasn't working. I made an appointment, walked down to the Apple store and they're like, hey, we gotta keep this thing for like four hours. Come back and I went home and we had Google Fiber internet, but the internet was down. So I pulled out vinyl records and I started playing records and journaling and I was writing and coloring and it was just so nice and quiet because before I had all these notifications on my phone. Every single time I got an email or a text message or some social media thing, it was just constantly bing, 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 bing. So when I got my new phone, I reinstalled the apps that were important, but what I also did was I turned off all the notifications to those apps. Begin to get control of your life in that vein, in that avenue, to where you are in control, and you're no longer allowing these things to be a distraction. That you're feeling really, really connected, mentally, physically, and spiritually on all aspects with the apps that you have in your life. So think about maybe your hobbies or where you're sharing your gifts or your talents or what you're doing personally or even professionally, you can view those types of behaviors and modifications as an app. And what in your life are you trying to overextend and overdo and occupying too much of your time in a negative way or something that's bringing that positivity, that's bringing that joy, that's bringing that state of bliss? And I encourage you to have the courage today to go ahead and just delete get rid of or close those apps in your life that no longer serve you and really find the apps in your life that give you the opportunity to find the joy to find the bliss and maybe for you it's nature or it's your family or your friends or cooking or cleaning or taking charge and taking control of your life again i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day